Let yourself go, he said. What if I fall? I'll catch you, his unscripted determination answered in the swirl of her fear, holding tighter her fragile body, just before the inconspicuous chains he was tied up with by his mind's labyrinth, cut deeper into his craving flesh, a pain he acquiesced with familiarity, as pain and pleasure were equally akin to his reality in an unpredictable, explored destiny. His present was everything he could offer her, as his past was marked by conditioned sentiments and never-ending drafts, pretty daring his secret black skin journal while deterring and convoluted in life. His future bore no better sign, a combination of unsure plans and certain doubts which often guided a path he tried so hard to keep straight amid perilous addictions and sweet distractions he allowed himself from time to time, out of rebellion or out of the fun he needed so much, or to forget rather than to laugh. He had let himself be chained by the promise of love, yet he would strive each time at the border of freedom to look outside for marvels to savor, like honey accents in culinary arts, and hopefully have his ego indulged. She was... One of a kind, in this world of craze where sex was conveniently filling the space between hellos and goodbyes, with little time in between for other ponderings or values, forgotten by urban minds like antiquated books in vintage bookshops, against the present malls of blandishments and readiness in all shapes, colors and tastes, a feature of the new decade. She slipped accidentally into his life with her greater walls but deeper love, and as she got closer to his truth, which he protected with grand performances of erudite phrases, occasional lies and deep kisses, she gambled her utmost trust to patiently unravel in the darkest nights his raw thoughts and fragile smiles. There she discovered the greatest of hearts with her own untamed beats pulsing for its beauty. Occurrences alerted her more and more towards that setting, and she was ready to relinquish her all to the gate of their chastity, if only for his perdurance in their most romantic reality. She would come closer and closer to his chains to feed him care and quench him with her sweetness that he badly needed, like fresh breath above the standard oxygenated cast in which he was supposed to fit. Chance became habit habit turned into ritual, and ritual was dangerously encouraging innocence to fall for temptation every time his eyes gazed into her soul deeply. She felt too strongly the danger of losing herself in that arcane deepness, yet he promised he would be there for her, should the path itself lose its own end, a scenario she almost wished for, among other reveries, just to cling on to fate's excuse to remain close to him. A drug she couldn't resist, despite her throbbing heart, reminding her constantly of her symbolic place in his mind's dwellings, for, as much as he loved dreams, the setback of reality haunted him daily, despite a pond of ink and wine in which he drowned it, recurrently. She was amazing to him, a word he used every time he discovered her unconditioned care, he couldn't quite explain as there was nothing in it for her victory, while his flaws revealed themselves slowly in her palms like poses upon the gift she still considered beautiful, if only for the contents within. She felt at home in his arms in inexplicable forms and his clumsy gestures were the undaunted charm she also possessed and loved to discover in him as though they rooted their traits from the same tree of genes or just from an unfeigned honesty. Yet, there was a third party present between their unity. Distance. Not the one coined by classical dictionary, but the one between their intents and possibilities, reveries and given sceneries, thoughts and facts, unfettered wishes and moral restraints, all coalesced into too much thinking 
from their most innocent kiss upon a cheek to the well-being of all humanity. Humanity who wouldn't lose sleep over her happiness or his, yet she wouldn't have it any other way, for love had to stay pure in its demeanor, untarnished by any dying beetle, should they be consumed by unity. Distance was there with them every time they met, like a ghost reminding the living of the underworld, like an alarm cutting off wings to dreams and counting seconds at the brim of their fulfillment, like those chains that kept him still in a cage he tried to deny each time he could feel that desired freedom and wild sweetness she was giving him gracefully. They both rebelled against that uninvited foe with respectful sighs and unabashed whispers, bending rules without breaking them leaving affection safe in their shelter just to find it back again at the next encounter, holding hands upon while showering together with lust in their minds, smiling into each other's eyes, lost in the same gaze of the outcome. More care, more trust. So easy and hard for both as every time was like the last time and the next one to come. The brink of the unknown abyss encouraged their fight for more while his chains already reached her skin, bruising her soul at night when she had to let it go, taking with her only his dreams to bed, while he dreamed about her reality constantly. In such unpredictability, only their intensity was palpable, keeping their certainty spinning around its origin just like an unbreakable spell he cast once upon them with a fragile expression of feelings. You hear and I already miss you, he said in the most genuine of ways, just before leaving to meet her again the next day. On a spiral of life, time was losing ground and moments were gained, slowly, unremittingly, to transmute distance into crystals of memories, solid and precious, to be hung on the string of destiny. The way you did once upon a dream.